this video, we look at the growing popularity of garden rooms as places to work and play. Garden room, man cave, home office, shoffice, which shed an office. Call it what you will, but having a standalone space in the garden where you can work, unwind or pursue a favourite hobby is one of the fastest growing property trends in recent years. Now, garden sheds are nothing new. Britain's first shed was built in 1481, but a garden room is far more than the old-fashioned lean-to your granddad used to store the lawnmower in. Garden rooms are high-spec spaces with plenty of mod cons, mains electricity, heating and Wi-Fi. They also often include full-height glazing, a kitchenette, a toilet, a hot tub or a home cinema. If you're considering investing in a garden room, here are some tips to help you get it right. Start by having a clear idea of how you'll use the space. Will it be an office, yoga studio, gym or games room? If you don't have a strong vision, your garden room could turn out to be a glorified storage cupboard, crammed with boxes and odds and sods. If space is tight, your options will be limited. However, if you have a big outdoor area, give careful consideration to the location and orientation of your garden room. If you're creating a mini music studio, opt for a location some distance from the house so that noise isn't an issue. On the other hand, a children's playroom might be the best near the house, so you can keep an eye on the little ones. Also remember that an east-facing garden will catch the morning sun, ideal for early bird work from home types. A west-facing garden will get the afternoon sun, perfect for post-work parents' chill-out space. A south-facing garden room will catch lots of sun, great in the winter months, but will get quite warm in the summer, so consider adding a canopy. Keep your garden room cool in summer and warm in winter and save money on heating by opting for insulated walls, roof and flooring. When architects, builders and manufacturers talk about insulation, they use the term U-value. The lower the U-value, the better. The best insulating materials have U-value nearing zero. It's called a garden room for a reason, so make sure your space is surrounded by lush greenery being close to nature is good for your mental health after all. Plant trees, shrubs and bushes around your garden room so that it feels like an integral part of the space. Before you get started, always seek confirmation from your local authority about whether any outbuilding you're thinking about building needs planning permission. For more advice about how to add value to your property and market trends, get in touch with us here at any time. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.